attractive matchup this year or the past few years. Unless you're an NFC East fan, because depending these results later in the week, the winner of this game will be in the driver's seat in the NFC East with four wins. Uh, as pathetic as that is, Super Bowl champ Damian Woody with us now. Happy Thanksgiving to you, Damian. We'll have you with us the rest of the show, so looking forward to that. Uh, Stephen A., I'm starting with you. Is Cowboys quarterback yeah. Andy Dalton the most important player in today's game to t finally take the driver's seat in the division? No, this ain't Richie Cunningham, and even with Happy Days, the Fonz was the big character, not Richie Cunningham. And since Richie <laughs> Cunningham's wannabe is look-alike, Andy Dalton is the head coach, is the is the quarterback rather for the Dallas Cowboys. I'm not feeling that way, but in all seriousness, here's the reason why: Ezekiel Elliott had his first 100-yard rushing game last year, not last week. Now let's understand something. We all know he's been compromised to some degree because once Dak Prescott goes down. You're daring Andy Dalton to beat you, so you're going to stack the line of scrimmage, take away the run, and that's going to hinder him to some degree. But I will remind everybody, those first three games that they played with, with, with Dak Prescott in the lineup, with Ezekiel Elliott running the football, Ezekiel Elliott didn't look that great. So the bottom line is, is that as he goes, the Dallas Cowboys offense seems to follow. C.D. Lamb is basically taking things over. We're thinking about Michael Gallup. Less, of course, you've got Amari Cooper. You know that they've got some weapons on the offensive side of the ball. But it starts with Ezekiel Elliott. Because when you're running the football effectively, finding a way to move those chains, everything takes place then. Andy Dalton didn't play. Uh, he played, actually, the last game against Washington because Dak Prescott was down by then. You know, he got popped silly. But remember, once he was ultimately concussed with that cheap shot by the Redskins, I was not the Redskins, the Washington football team. I apologize for that, Max. The bottom line is this. Before that, we saw Andy Dalton jumping all over his offensive linemen because they weren't protecting him at all. What I'm saying to you is everything changes if Ezekiel Elliott finds a way to be effective, whether it's running the football or pass catching out of the backfield, if Ezekiel Elliott is effective, the Dallas Cowboys are a different team offensively because Washington isn't that great offensively. They just ran right at the Cowboys offense on the defensive side of the ball the way that Washington was playing defense, and that both ultimately led to Dallas' demise, a 25-3 to loss. If Ezekiel Elliott is playing well, you'll see a different result. Well, except Ezekiel Elliott won't look like he's playing well behind that offensive line. Running backs are all about run blocking. The best running backs behind bad run blocking are not going to get you any yards, period. I don't care who they are. Two, three yards on average per carry, something like that. It's like pathetic behind bad run blocking. Behind good run blocking, an average running back going to get you seven yards per carry, right? Casey Joyner, the football scientist, Stephen A. told you about that. But so, so there's only so much Ezekiel Elliott can do, who, by the way, was a little bit overrated at his very best because he was running behind the best offensive line in football. He was excellent, but people, you know, can see now how much the line means. Of course Andy Dalton's the most important player in the game. He's the most important player on either team. They signed Andy Dalton not just to put downward pressure on the Dak Prescott contract. Look, we have a very competent backup. But because in the event of disaster in the NFC lease, in the event of a disaster and Dak Prescott suffers a catastrophic injury in this division that's very winnable, they knew they needed a backup plan. And Andy Dalton, we all agreed, boy, that's an excellent backup to have on your roster. Okay, so here it is, Andy Dalton. Here's your chance. The NFC East is not very good, just as we all knew. It was the worst division ever. And here it is. The, the, the offensive line isn't good. They don't run block well. Ezekiel Elliott's having a bad year. He ain't going to bail you out. The defense is no good. But you know what you do have? You know where the resources went, even in the draft? Receivers. You have Amari Cooper. You have C.D. Lamb. If you can get the ball out fast to your playmakers, you have a chance. And furthermore, that's what you've been brought on to do, to keep the ship steady in the event something happened at Dak. And it has. So, of course, Andy Dalton's play, his decision-making, his accuracy will be the deciding factor. If he is good, the Cowboys are going to win the game. If he's not, they probably won't. <coughs> Yeah, I'm going to go with Zeke Elliott here, and, and I think the Cowboys are like 26 and four when Zeke Elliott rushed for over, rushed for over 100 yards, and you can see the effects that Zeke has when he's able to have a good rushing day. Because not only does it play into protecting the quarterback when you have some semblance of balance, but it also, 
you know, it also helps your defense. And I'm not saying the Dallas Cowboys defense or world beaters, they're, they're still, you know, pretty pathetic. But what it does, though, is it allows them to rest up and make critical stops. And we saw that last week against the Minnesota, Minnesota Vikings down the stretch. And you, Max, here's, here's the thing about Andy Dalton. Of course we could say Andy Dalton is, is, is the guy that we need to look for. He's a quarterback. He's going to have the ball in his hands the most. But when you don't have balance, when you don't have Zeke Elliott providing you balance offensively, guess what's going to happen? The Washington football team will be able to unleash that pass rush led by Chase Young and will be all over them. So as much as we talk about the weapons that they have on the outside, you know, with the, the trio wide receivers that they have, if you don't have that semblance of balance that Zeke Elliott will bring to the table, okay, Andy Dalton's going to end up on his back because we've seen what this, what this Dallas Cowboys offensive line looks like, and it, they're pathetic. So you got to have some semblance of a running game. If Zeke Elliott has a big day, that'll go a long way for the Dallas Cowboys to win this football game today. Well, a couple of things. Number yeah, one, Damian Woody. Uh, first yeah, of all, go ahead. First, 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 hold on, Max. First of all, a couple of things, Damian Woody. First of all, uh, uh, you know, you're looking quite dapper this morning. I don't understand why there's no tie, but that's a subject for another I know. day. Number two, and more importantly, I know. number two, and more importantly, it, it is okay. It is okay to just say you you agree with Stephen A. You should have started your soliloquy no, I'm by not saying do that. you agree I'm not with Stephen that. A. Because that's what the truth is. That's no, what happened. I'm not do but that. number three, and more importantly, well, but how, number three, and more importantly, Max, Max. <laughs> Hold on, Max D. Wood. Here's the deal. Damian, uh, Ezekiel Elliott comes into the league. Other than the year where he got suspended to six games, Max, we'll throw that out, okay? The other three seasons he's played, he's had 322 carries. He's had 304 carries. He's had 301 carries. I understand that Dak Prescott is out. I understand they're stacking the line of scrimmage. But the brother is getting paid $90 million. I mean, he's getting paid that for a reason. We've talked about whether it's him. You said Saquon Barkley, and I get where you're coming from. But we talk about what a stud running back he is. Find a damn way. I'm not saying he's going to be what we're accustomed to seeing. But if he gives you some, he has to give you something to take the pressure off of Andy Dalton. Otherwise, Andy Dalton, the same thing that's going to happen to him that happened to him last time against Washington is going to happen again. Well, look, that's fair enough. In other words, you got to give him the ball because you have to establish that you're willing to run whether or not you're successful running. Damien, I understand that point. You're right. There has to be balance. you got to run, run running plays. It's not always on first down, right? But you got to run the ball. Do you have to be successful running the ball? Because the fact of the matter is the reason Ezekiel Elliott had the success he did other than his own talent really had to do, as I said, they spent four out of five years spending first-round draft picks on an offensive lineman. Right? So they put together the best one in football. Those dudes are gone. They're either retired or hurt. They're not there anymore. So it ain't the same as Ezekiel Elliott. Do you have to give him the ball and pick up on second down two or three yards and consistently kind of do stuff like that? Sure, but that doesn't make him the most important player in the game. That makes play calling and sticking with the run at times important. The most important player in the game, it's going to come down to Andy Dalton. The playmakers you have are your receivers. Like, Andy Dalton is there to make good decisions and to get them the ball, and that's the best chance they have to win the game. Well, Max, listen, no one, no one can, uh, can disagree with you as far as Andy Dalton has to make plays. My only thing is, I'm talking about if you look at the Washington Redskins, their strength on their football team is their defensive line. So when you don't have a sense of balance, now you're talking about making a team one-dimensional. And we've all lamented how bad the Cowboys' offensive line is. And if you just want to continue to drop back Andy Dalton time and time again, good luck with that with Chase Young and, boy, and those boys breathing down his neck the whole game. That's why I'm saying it's going to be imperative for Ezekiel Elliott. Yes, he might not get, you know, seven, eight yards of pop like he would usually get behind the, the traditional Dallas Cowboys' offensive line, mm -hmm. but it's going to be imperative that they try to stick with that running game right. so they can take pressure so that pass rush doesn't jump all over Andy Dalton. And remember what else I'm saying, Max. The question is, who's the most important player in today's game? I'm not talking about utilizing Ezekiel Elliott as just a running back. I'm saying whatever way it takes to get him the ball, he needs to be the key component for today's game. The more of a threat he is in touching the football, whether it's running or pass catching out of the backfield with screens and, th and things of that nature, the more he touches the ball, the more of a threat he is, 
the less pressure is on Andy Dalton. You want to shift the pressure to Ezekiel Elliott to pick up some of that slack to offset what would come Andy Dalton's way. That's the best way to do it. That's why Ezekiel Elliott's the most important.